Hi, this is Jet Ferguson with Sotheby's International Realty, and this is blog number two. I'm here interviewing Paul Muir of Muir Certified Inspections. Hi, everybody. So Paul's also a general contractor, which is really convenient when he does inspections, but we're interviewing him today specifically on home inspections. That would be for buyers and sellers, for residential and commercial properties. So I'm gonna just try to throw you off with some questions, but I promise okay. you the first one's easy. <laughs> okay. So why is it important for a buyer in today's real estate market to have a home inspection? There's a number of reasons why a buyer would wanna have a a real estate in inspection simply because number one you want to know what you're investing in mm -hmm. there's a lot of different criteria, a lot of different situations and deferred maintenance on properties and um, some hidden items we try to do our best to find those hidden items and mm -hmm. find out what's going on what are you investing in mm -hmm. I mean if you bought a home for X number of dollars and you have to invest a bunch of money in it to bring it up to par mm -hmm. is the investment worth that you know, with the with the changes and the upgrades to make it a, a cost effective investment for an individual. Right. A lot of things are safety too. I mean, you have to deal with safety walkways, um, steps, ladders. You know, things that are going on in the house that could be potentially a, a hazard to children or, um, you know, present a liability for you, for the new tenant. Electrical. Electrical. GFCI. Yeah, exactly. You find that a lot. Yeah, I do. And and, and the question too is, okay, you are buying a home, the home was remodeled. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Who remodeled it? Did they pull Is apart? it lipstick on a pig? Yes, exactly right. I mean, you start looking into the attic of crawl spaces and find out that that's great. They did a beautiful job on the interior. You walk in and you think, God, this is the nicest place in the world. And then all of a sudden you get somebody to go in there and actually crawl through the crawl space, go up in the attic, check the water heater, check the heater system, make sure that everything is functioning properly. And you may find some disturbing things that happen. Because right. A lot I've of seen the inspections where you've saved some of our buyers and... And that's, it, it's an important thing. I mean, obviously you have the option, let's say with water heaters or something like that, you can get a, a one year contract mm -hmm. for um, with a... Uh, home warranty? Home warranty yeah. type mm -hmm. situation. That's a good option to have in, in, the, in the event of, you know, have an older water heater, you have a, right. a older heater in the house. Um, that's a great investment, like four hundred dollars, and yeah. you get like seventy-five a service. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. It's, it's nothing. Huge. It changed the water heater up for seventy-five dollars, which is wonderful. They take the old one away, and, yep. and I've had that happen on a few homes where they had done that, and you know, it was a big advantage for them. Sure. Um, the big question, though, is what are you investing in? I mean, that's right. really what it comes down to. Are you going to have problems down the road? Are you going to be in a situation where? You have ex, you know, you're, you're buying a new home, so you have to put a deposit down. You have to go through all the. Yeah, it's a pretty and, big expense. It is. It's the largest. It's probably expense, the largest, largest expense. expense. Yeah. And you want it to be cost effective. Really. Absolutely. It's absolutely. So how about sellers? I I work with a lot of sellers as well, and I find in Silicon Valley they always do seller inspections. Yeah. And there's... Now, I always encourage my sellers to because I want my sellers to know exactly what is wrong with the house before anybody else. Well, it all comes down to negotiation. Let's say they don't do a seller's inspection. They go in there and all of a sudden they find out, oh my gosh, you know, there's all these things wrong with it. And now mm -hmm. I have to renegotiate the cost of the house that I... And granted, every home in California are, is sold as is. As is. As is. But, but the buyer can always ask. Yeah, you can always ask. And least, the seller can say yay or nay. Yeah, you're nay. Exactly right. And it all comes down to, okay, let's say there's a bunch of safety issues going on and it, it's X number of dollars to get those safety issues fixed. And mm -hmm. then it goes into the asking the question and then the, the seller says no or, mm -hmm. you know. So a seller... The other problem is with a seller in, in doing a pre-inspection on a seller home. Mm -hmm. it, in a lot of cases, let's say you go with a renegotiation mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of items and it's X number of dollars to have it done. I equate it a lot to getting an insurance check on a car accident. Sure. Where a lot of guys will get a $5,000 check from an insurance and never cash it in. Mm -hmm. You know, they never, so they get a reduction in the house cost of the home, but they never perform any of the, exactly any of the repairs. They just use it as a negotiating tactic, tactic to, to bring it down. So do you want to be in a situation where you're going to have to even potentially go through that negotiation or do you want to get top dollar for your home that you're trying to sell? Right. It's a very competitive market and a clean home 
makes things easier for the real estate agents. Absolutely. Agent, makes it easier for the I truly the believe if you fix it up before, you're exactly. going to make more money. Well, don't but think... it's hard to get convinced sellers sometimes to do this. $500, $450, much time and you, I say, oh much... my gosh, you get 20000 more of you. <laughs> I know. But sometimes it's a challenge, and, and a lot in Monterey County do not, a lot of people don't do seller inspections in this county. No, they don't. I see it a lot. There's yeah. one There's one group that does it all the time, mm -hmm. but they have their designated inspector, and that inspector does all I their inspections. I always encourage my sellers to do it. So, you know, and I don't know how proficient that inspection is. I'm very independent. Mm -hmm. I don't rely on anybody. I do inspections for all the real estate agents pretty much sure. in the area. So I just go in and tell it how it is. Yeah, that's and what I like I'm, about it. I'm not like an alarmist where I, you know, oh my gosh, this place is falling apart, but I will, you know, document and tell you these are the items you need to take care of whether you do or not it's up to you mm -hmm. in all cases but you need to understand that these are issues that are going to come and present a, a problem later on down the road for you speaking of alarmists this is something that you know i i always recommend several inspectors but paul is absolutely my favorite inspector he's worked with our clients so many times and i recommend him for both buyers and sellers equally no games he's straight straight shooter and I want the buyers and sellers to both know the truth, you know? It's, that's fair. But speaking about alarmists, um, I um. like my buyers to always attend inspections. In fact, I insist upon it unless they're out of area, then I want to video it. Because even my own house, and I think you would agree, it sounds like it's falling apart on a home inspection. It does. I mean, we point out things and you start going through a list and you're like, oh my gosh. What's, and you it's know, terrifying. It, it's terrifying <laughs> at first. But then you start to, to get down. And if you have a, a buyer actually walking through and me pointing those things out, you stop and look at it and say, okay, well, it's not really that big of a deal. Right. So it's, But that's talking eye to eye. That's why they need to yeah, talk to you and not on, just see it on paper because you do have to cover your rear end. Like all of us on paper, our real estate contracts are also terrifying. Yes, they are. <laughs> That's true. And but you know, like like anything, we have to point it out to them. What you know, like I say, whether you do something about it or not is is kind of your choice. Sure. In those issues. But at least you know <clears throat> what it is. Absolutely, you know what it is. You know what you're in for. Mm -hmm. You know if there's a major problem or a nick in a wall, and a nick in a wall may not be an issue. The other thing is, is in a lot of cases, I'll point out items where uh, the current owner is going to be moving out furniture and be taking the furniture out of the house. Right. And in the process of taking furniture out of the house, they damage something. That happens. And it happens all the time. So I take a lot of pictures, a lot of photo documents of what's going on so that when it comes down to them moving out and taking all the furniture and everything out, you know, they come in, the, the new buyer comes in and says, oh my gosh, this wall's all banged up and, and I don't know how that happened. That's why we do final verifications of properties. Right. I had one at 7.30 a.m. this morning on 1808 Nadina that closes today, it should be closing right now, and we just wanted to make sure there was nothing hidden under the yeah. rugs or, you know, you never know. You when never furniture's know. in the house, what's underneath it? Yeah, and, you know, like I said, you're, you're carrying stuff out the front door, the front door gets right. damaged. Right, and the oh owners gosh. aren't there, the well, movers don't tell the owners. Right, yeah. and then at least you have previous documentation as to what was going on. Yeah, in the I didn't think about that. That's a great Yeah, I do a lot. Of, I do a lot of renter's inspections where a new tenant will be moving in or even for the, for the AT&T, I'll go in and a corporate corporation will be renting out one of the properties, you know, mm -hmm. for the AT&T. Okay. Well, I'll go through and do a full inspection of the building to find out and take documentation of the walls and dam and anything oh. so that when the corporation leaves after their rental is done, oh, interesting. they'll come back and say, look, you guys damaged the wall here. You guys did this. You had a big party here at the AT&T and we've got some damage that you need to take care of. And you've got the documentation you know, that, the it's safe, that it was good before. Yeah. Good. So and even, you know, Commercial is a big one where you're going through um, some of the commercial properties and situations where you don't have proper life safety, mm. um, horns and strobes, fire protection, um, tempered glass, no, no tempered glass within 18 inches of the ground. I mean, there's a lot of different codes and regulations, ADA compliancy, uh, in non-ADA, I'm doing Heritage Harbor right now. I'm doing Ooh, all the I'm doing all the buildings. Big. Yeah, I'm doing all the buildings at Heritage Harbor wow. right now. You're so doing a commercial inspection for my client next week. Awesome. Yeah. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be <laughs> my first commercial inspection. So, I usually do residential, so and uh, 
but you know we're running into issues and it's also a maintenance program for that so that you know we we put a book in with our inspections to give clarity as to what you need to maintain and a maintenance schedule on that property so cleaning your gutter is just a reminder to go through the the, the manual and it, it's mm-hmm. a pretty nice little manual and i give, saw that and uh you know say these are the things that need to need to um be taken care of and need to continual maintenance perfect know? so any last words of wisdom or suggestions to buyers and sellers related to home inspections well like i said all homes in california are bought as is mm-hmm. um you gotta weigh that weigh the cost of the home with the investment you'll have to do because every home that i've ever been in other, other than i think two homes in 10 years are all going to have some type of, of deferred course. maintenance. And I mean, most of Monterey County, they're 1950s, 1960s, yeah, they're, they're not they're, new homes. No, they're not turnkey flip, flip new homes. And, you know, just be wary. Um, one of the big things is, is if you're going to do that, it, one of the simple things to do to find out if the home was being, was a remodel, mm-hmm. is it called the city? And find yep. call it, it's free information. It's right. public information. And you the, want that city report on that contract. Exactly right. That you want to make sure Whether the it was city or report permitted is, and yep. not permitted. Exactly. And that way you could say, okay, well, this these guys were permitted. They obviously had the city come out. They ins- the city I write that on every buyer contract. City inspection required. We want that to yeah. make sure. And even if they did the flip or they did the you know, they did the remodel, let's make sure that they they did actually got the permit permit for it exactly. because there again you're going to have clarity as to the competency of uh, a construction company and what they can do and you know you've got to have a license you got to have all the all the items to pull a permit right so therefore you know that the people are were the contractor was not unlicensed or is competent or you know he's he's got a one year warranty on the work that he did too so if the if the closing of the um, permit was this date one year one year period he's under legal obligation to do any repairs on that for one year right so they can come back all we've you know we have a leak or they have some damage it doesn't cost them anything to call the contractor who the contractor was which is on the city documents right. to come back hey we got a leak in this you guys did the work on this please come over and fix it yep and that's part of the contract that's part right. of that's law they have to so speaking of general contractors you know any good ones <laughs> I'm <one>. yeah. <laughs> So I've done construction. So-